একটু বডি ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজটা পজিটিভ রাখো ক্যামেরা when i've been talking about styling hacks and makeup tutorials but this is the first time where we are filming ourselves as we get ready for a real function both of us in mumbai now to attend the wedding ceremony of my cousin and many of my family members are here too and as you know indian weddings are long and quite fun and well there are lots of events involved and today is the main occasion that is a wedding day and this is the time when fashion quotient of everyone from bride and groom to guests everyone reaches its zenith we welcome you to be a part of our lives for this evening and uh, hopefully you will enjoy this sneak peek into the behind the scenes lives the actual lives of babu and bibi but before we proceed can we please ask you to subscribe subscribe guys subscribe please hi guys so i have had an afternoon nap and i just woke up i'm still quite knackered i wish i could sleep for a couple of more hours but i really don't have any time i have to be ready in half an hour so let's get started obviously no makeup is complete without good moisturization that's what i'm going to do first My skin looks nice and plump and I'm ready for the makeup proper. Vikram is has gone for a shower now. He has just come back from the pool. I wanted to visit the pool too. It looked very enticing it being quite warm outside. But I needed my rest and the hair dryer at the hotel isn't as strong as mine so I figured it's could just going to take me ages to dry my hair right anyway so let's start my makeup i'm going to obviously start with my primer and i will use a luminous base to prime this is not a primer proper this is a kind of moisturization uh, kind of uh, foundation cum moisturizer but you know when i need to create a shiny base i use this followed by my foundation I'll give you a glimpse of the Bombay skyline that is visible from the window of my room it looks quite stunning really and there are lots of yachts out in the sea lifestyles of the rich and famous guys the rich and famous I'll use a tiny amount of color corrector I had to use much more yesterday because we um had an overnight flight from London to Mumbai and coupled with the kind of workload i had last week i really didn't get much rest and my under eyes were darker but somehow india does wonders to my under eyes i guess i just feel less stressed because i'm not at work and holidaying in my own country and i don't have to worry about what to cook for dinner everything is taken care of we totally spoiled when we are in india that airbrush flawless foundation is really high coverage so i hardly need to conceal anything i let that sit and concentrate on the eyes now starting with the eyebrows the challenge with the eyebrows for me is to make it symmetrical because they are so different i swear both in terms of thickness and length a little amount of eyebrow gel to keep all the hairs tamed Vikram why are you peeping you can come in but just, just please wondering are we still live we <laughs> we are not live but we are recording and you can't be naked i'm not this is a family friendly show please okay. you can show off your top you have ha- worked hard on your biceps and pecs so of course you can show that off oh, but nothing else please For me at least the most important thing in my makeup is eyes that really defines my whole makeup and that's how I feel my makeup is individualized to me and my personality 
I try various different forms. It's not just a smoky that I always go for. But today, I don't want to have smoky eyes. I'm thinking of... Let's see. Let's see what colors I want to use. I'm more of a spontaneous uh, dresser anyway. And I want a more Bengali feel to my overall look. So... I'll go a little bit of glam natural with a tiny amount of smoky. Smoky is my favorite anyway. I think it's the easiest eye makeup to do. Yeah, I've decided what I want to do. I'll go for these three colors. By the way, I saw. Yeah? I saw one of Sarah's relatives going downstairs. Okay. Just to know the family. Okay, so Vikram says that he saw all of the bright side from the fam all from the bright side of the family head towards the wedding venue dressed in their bridal finery. That's what he claims. I think they are going to be punctual and they don't understand probably how weddings work. Worse. Well, you have to come a bit closer to the camera, to the camera, Vikram. I don't think people can hear what you're saying. Okay. Can they hear me now? I think so. Can so what I was saying is, the bride side of the family, I think, is all dressed up in the bridal finery. And you think, towards, or they are? They are. Okay. I saw them headed downstairs towards the reception area, and my guess is, so they're going to start at five thirty shop. They were going to start at five thirty shop. And probably they are not very conversant with how weddings work in the Indian context. Well, they'll know. They they'll will know. know. <laughs> they'll know. They're in India to attend an Indian wedding, so they will figure out. There's going to be what we call high tea. That's the Indian equivalent of afternoon tea served at half five. And I'm not hungry. I know that's not an excuse. I should have been on time. But I... Probably won't miss much. So I'm getting a bit jittery because I only have about 15 minutes left. I still have to do my hair and the sari. The sari is not going to take more than two minutes, but the hair. Ugh. I'm so rubbish at hairstyling. I've just decided to add um, a further bit of color to the outer V using a darker brow. What about the rest of our gang? Are they getting ready or are they are still sleeping? Uh, I think your mom and dad, <laughs> they're going to sleep now. My mom and dad are going to sleep now? Because they just got up from the restaurant. From, they the? from the? Restaurant. They, got from, they just got up from where? They got back from the restaurant, from the 3.30. <sighs> That's why I sent out that SOS message saying that we do get ready now. I haven't seen your SOS message but I'm in an SOS mode. So the spokiness I was talking about is going to come from my eye pencil. I'll use a really dark one. Uh, made a mess already. And just use a smudge brush to smudge it out. I don't like sharp lines anyway. A little cat flick with this. Oops, that looks nice. I think so, yeah, happy, happy with that. The advantage of smudging out eye pencil is that I can afford to be a little clumsy. Do you know what you have to wear today? Yes, that's a dhoti. There yes, will be a silk. A, and this kurta, right? a new silk kurta. These two, right? Yeah, I think this is the one, yeah. Uh, that's the green yep. Oops. Why did you say oops? What did you do? You didn't strip, did you? I thought my towel was slipping. No, please. Whose dhoti is this again? Remind me. So Vikram is wearing a Bengali dhoti. But technically it's not a dhoti. It's one of my mother's sarees. She doesn't wear it anymore. And... I thought this will look really nice as a dhoti. It's a beautiful color. 
it is a beautiful color it's a silk and vikram i how many times i have told you nobody will be able to hear you if you stand there if you want to so i just talk saying to that this is this is a beautiful color i mean the screen color is just yeah. beautiful it's, i think it's going to look brilliant as a dhoti yeah and you can uh, tell them about little about the dhoti and the pleating and the bits because i am a bit busy with my eye makeup as you can see okay so we got so like preetha explained the dhoti this dhoti is actually one of the sarees from preetha's mom's collection and it's a beautiful silk one it's a katha stitch it's a katha stitch that is hand embroidered so that makes it a bit easy for me to understand which one is the inside portion which 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 one should go on the inside which one should stay on the outside because of the embroidery and because this has been starched and pleated by your favorite dhobi he's done a fabulous job of keeping the pleats in place and tying them up with tiny strings the first video we had published and undoubtedly the most popular video of our channel is where vikram explains how to wear a sari a normal any sari as a bengali style dhoti and i'm just going to attach the link up here this is also a sari this has been pre pleated it's still a sari but it has been starched and pre pleated by adhobi as vikram explained so this will be easier to wear i'm sure he's going to do a video on how to wear a pre pleated dhoti won't yeah. you Let's let's do it next week when we are in Calcutta. We go a bit light on the contouring, especially in the cheeks, because as I said at the very beginning, I want an overall Bengali feel, and Bengali women are supposed to have plump cheeks. Not that I'm fond of it in any way, and I'd rather not look like I have a lot of fat in my cheeks, but I don't want to go overboard with my cheek contouring either. I said this before in other videos the reason why I contour is to give structure to my face overall and not to make it look slimmer. What do you think Vikram? Do you think my face is slim or do you think I have a fat face? Uh... Well, thank you for your answer. Sorry, what's the question? My question is do you think my face is slim or do you think I need to make it slimmer? I think you don't need to make it slimmer. I think it looks slim enough. But if you are going in for an Angelina Jolie type of look, <laughs> well, I'm no Angelina Jolie. I know that. Yeah, neither are you, Brad Pitt. Thank you, Vikram. You can go back to your dhoti wearing. Really? Are you yeah. sure about that? Yeah. That was nice. Well, I think they're not together anymore anyway, are they? I can never tell. I like buffing my face. It creates such a soft, focused look. So finally, my makeup is done, and I'm going to quickly clean my makeup brushes. I do that every single time. Just a quick clean with a spray to get rid of all the bacteria that may have accumulated. The sky does a fantastic job of. stitching and not just stitching the keeping the pleats together keeping the pleats together and getting them starched because even the back pleats the way he has made it is so that i don't have to manage anything it's the right side the correct side of the dhoti is actually coming out on the top so yeah you're spoiled that's you're the spoiled trick, right so you can see i don't have to do the pleats change the pleats at all also at some point i'll need the mirror uh there's a mirror over there You don't have to compete with me. Which mirror do you want? You want this mirror? Yeah. No. For any mirror. I don't know which one which ones are you using. Well, I'm using this mirror. You can look at that mirror. But you probably will need a little more illumination. And there, there are mirrors over there too. Look? Yeah, this looks fine. Yeah, I think this is fine. You have to lift up the PD anyway, so you need to be careful. He has got a special job for the wedding, you see. You'll see soon. You'll see. Okay, so that's my mother at the door. And uh, 
My dad, it seems, needs some help with his dhoti. Prince. Sir Vikram. I, I don't have the keys with me. Please open the door and let me. <laughs> okay, go. Vikram is a very seasoned dhoti wearer. One of the things that keep us together as a as a couple is our love for fashion. But you probably know that already. Many people think that I have influenced Vikram to be fashion conscious or a sort of really advanced man. But it's not that, believe me. It's just how he is and it's how I am. And we are lucky to have found each other. So my makeup is done. I am I now have to do my hair. I am so rubbish at hair styling. So I've just decided to cover everything with a bun and flowers. In an ideal world I wanted fresh flowers, but I was so lazy today that I did not bother to I need a hairband. Yes, what was what was I saying? I did not bother to go to the market. Uh and now I'm stuck. I don't even have a hairband. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Let me try and find something. I hope to do this right because I don't even have a comb. <laughs> I don't use a comb. Probably will need to find a comb from from somewhere for the final bit. So I'm just using a bun, a donut to make a bun. This is how I'm used to making buns for my dance recitals. So I'm reasonably good at this. And these are my fabric flowers, also from my dancing set. When you can't make it, fake it. Okay, I've got some flyaways on the two sides. Just put a couple of bobby pins to keep them in place. Okay, probably more than a couple. Well, that's reasonably tamed. I can live with this. Let me go and wear my sari and children, I'll join you. But you know what? I think the makeup is looking dope. The one thing I need to do, I will be wearing a bindi. And because I have a lot of expanse in my forehead, I'm going for a big red bindi. So Bengali. Very, very bong. So this is a sari and blouse combination I'm going to wear. You probably won't be able to figure out what it is. And uh, obviously I'm not going to undress in front of you. Vikram is back. Give me two minutes. How do I look? You look very nice. So I just after the niche glasses and I look okay. But give me an honest opinion. Do I need to wear a genji or not? My it has a genji you can, can wear, I think you will have to wear. Who is it? Tada! Here, then. We have our <laughs> Why is everyone looking at Tada? What is this? This is my aftershave. Why do we need an aftershave? I need, you don't. Right, I am back. And this is one of my. Wedding sarees. This was my wedding reception sari, in fact. Super heavy. This is a Benarasi. A very, very heavy Benarasi. It weighs a ton. And I will be wearing it in Bengali style. It weighs a ton, costs a ton. It did not cost a ton. This is not one of my most expensive sarees, Vikram. We don't add pleats in the Bengali style, but this is just to make my life easier. I've got big strides, so. Anything that is A-line-ish, I don't like them because it's, it, it restrict my movement. And also I will be doing a little twist to the Bengali way of draping. Oh, and I have to talk to you about the blouse. So this is not the sari's blouse. I'm sure that's pretty obvious. I mean, this, this is not the blouse that came with the sari, that's what I mean. This one, I... I have recently, um, well that's not how I want to wear it, I need a bit more length. I think I have to let go of the pleats. Anyway, so this blouse I recently made, I wanted a backless one because my body size, like most women's, keep going up and down. And 
I think these are easy to wear. You don't have to worry about getting them altered every time you lose or gain a few grams. And these are all hand embroidered by the way. These are all hand embroidered in Dapka by an artist in Calcutta who also does embroidery work for a very famous fashion designer. Now I'm not going to name names. No names. Somehow I just I did not like how it looked. So I'll go back to the pleats. Is Tushuda ready Vikram? Vikram is ready. I just need to give you one thing. It is a brocade uh, stole. The red one? Red brown. Yes, that's for you. Wow. I will look like a bride. <laughs> well, you will be performing the role of the brother of the bride. Not with this stole, surely. This stole, it's very gorgeous. So this is a, also Benarisi. It's a Benarisi stole. It's one of the accessories of my own wedding. This was used as Lodja Bostro. So in Bengali wedding, when the groom applies sindur on the bride's forehead, the head is covered with a separate new piece of cloth. Most of the times it's another sari, so they just hold a sari on the top of the head. But I think my in-laws were a bit clever when they decided to get a stall, uh, it's not a stall, I mean a stall, instead of going in for a sari. Wow. Yeah, I think you looked dapper. Right. Yeah. The perfume is here in case you forget. Me too before I forget. Here it is. I'm wearing a semi Bengali semi normal sari. I don't know how I look at the end of the day. So I've got my jewelry here. The one thing that I wanted to tell you a little hint is that if you're doing your hair, if you have any kind of updo, then before you get started on your hairstyle, either wear a dressing gown or a shirt, you know, something which is not, does not need to be pulled over the head in order to be taken off because you don't want to spoil your hairstyle when trying to wear your clothes. So this earring, this kind of a round earring is called a Pasha in Bengali. This is a traditional style, but once again, traditionally it's much bigger, <laughs> having more gold and obviously more expensive. I love them, but the bigger ones do not look good for my ears. I've got thin ears and really thin uh, ear piercings. So the heavier ones, the heavy round ones, just seem to hang from my ears, making, making them look weird. The neck pieces I'm wearing are all traditional too, but they're not old. They are, they are my own jewelry, they're not family heirloom. And this kind of a bangle is called Chur, flat white bangles. The one that I'm screwing in, this one, this, these are called Chur and these are called Bauties. This is called a guinea heart. Guinea means coin. Um, back in the olden days, there used to be coins with engravings of I mean, Queen Victoria, other royal people from Britain. Okay, guys, it's six thirty. I need okay, to right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You are, you go down downstairs. Vikram has a very important role to play, and I've finished my makeup, hair, everything now too. You'll obviously have pictures, but here's a sneak peek. How do I look? Gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
is not a dupatta nor an uttoriyo. I explained. I don't well, really already explained. I don't really told them what this so is. So I'm wearing three pieces of garment today. One from my wife. One belongs to my mom-in-law. The dhoti. And the only one. Oops, that's not the middle finger. <laughs> but the only one that was actually tailored for me is a kurta. Yeah, yeah. This is a silk kurta, and um, I know it, this uh, seems like black in all the photographs and videos, but this is actually green. So technically, we are twinning with white, red, and, and green. green. I hope that this was entertaining. <laughs> we had a lot of fun, and we honestly did not rehearse this, and it was not doctored. So you saw as it was. Obviously, it was I'm going to heavily doctored. edit. <laughs> yeah. Even that featured a doctor, but that was a very silly joke. Sorry. Anyway, so even though I'm going to heavily edit because you don't want to see 40 minutes worth of us getting ready, but 40 minutes it was, not a minute more, not a minute less. So 40 minutes for my makeup, hair, and sari and jewelry, everything. And for him, he, uh, in addition to his own ensemble, he also had to help out my cousin and my dad. So that was a job well done. And uh, we had a lot of fun doing it, really. This is the first time we are doing it. Essentially, a lot of my friends have asked me for this kind of video because they, they, they find it quite fascinating that the two of us are so... How do I politely put this? We call it Shajuni in Bengali. Essentially, it's a nickname for someone who likes to dress up and both of us, we love to dress up, don't we? We yeah. do. If you think that you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos, then do let us know because then we feel encouraged. And do subscribe. And do subscribe because that's the most important thing. We really need your help, support and love. See you later. Bye.